Well, here I am again. This is Tim. And today I'm going to tell you how Merry Holiday, Hachi Pogli, Sleepy Slim, and Jump Jump of Holiday House took me with them on a Christmas adventure in the Wishing Star. Jump Jump, the little elf only three inches tall, and Merry Holiday, who tells such wonderful stories and lives in Holiday House. At Holiday House, every day is a holiday. I know, but I didn't know that until the night I met Jump Jump in the woods and he took me to Holiday House. Merry Holiday, who acts as Santa Claus's secretary, was getting awfully worried because Santa hadn't sent for her to come to help him with all the Christmas mail. Finally, she called up Santa. And you know what? There wasn't any answer. Then we all got worried, and Mary Holiday decided that we'd better go to the North Pole right away and find out what had happened to Santa Claus. Can you imagine Christmas without Santa Claus? I'll be back in a minute to tell you what we did. First... day we got ready to leave Holiday House. Jump Jump was jumping around all over the place. He was so excited. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, Jump Jump, you'll soon see the ice and snow. Jingle bells. Can you sing Jingle Bells, Jump Jump? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse in a one horse, uh, one horse single sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jingle Bells, all right. Even if you didn't get the words just right. Oh, Jump Jump, where's your suitcase? Uh, uh, no, none of that fast talk, Jump Jump. You promised me that on this trip you'd speak slowly all the time so that everyone can understand you. <laughs> Tell me, where's your suitcase? My suitcase is down the mouse hole. Oh. Down the mouse hole? How did your suitcase get there? <laughs> no. No, 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 Jump Jump. That's much too fast. You promised to speak slowly. I forgot, Merry Holiday. Yes, you forgot. Now, how did your suitcase get down the mouse hole? I loaned it. You loaned your suitcase? Yes. You loaned it to whom? The city mouse. Oh, yes, the city mouse. You did loan your suitcase to the city mouse, didn't you, Jump Jump? Why did he lend a suitcase to a mouse, Mary Holiday? <laughs> well, Tim, I told Jump Jump the story of the country mouse who visited his cousin, the city mouse, so he could see the city. Yes. Oh, so Jump Jump thought it would be nice for the city mouse to return the visit and go to see the country. And he did not have a suitcase. <laughs> no, he didn't have a suitcase, so Jump Jump loaned him his. Well, I'll whittle you another suitcase from a piece of wood, Jump Jump. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jump Jump, don't jump up and down <laughs> on my head. Oh, oh, listen. 
Oh, that must be Archie Pogley the Clown arriving in the Wishing Star. Yes, it is. Ooh, look at the way it comes down out of the sky. Just like a falling star. Oh, yes, it does look like a falling star, Tim. Oh, you know, I feel so much better now that we've decided to go and find out why Santa Claus didn't answer his telephone. Of course, I'm sure it can't be anything serious. I hope it isn't anything serious. Me too, Mary Holiday. Me too. Me too, Mary Holiday. Me too. I'm a jolly old clown and I never do frown. I make little children laugh. It's Archie Pogley. I never do. Why? I haven't got time. I'm a jolly old clown, as you can see. <laughs> 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 Body every. Oh, oh, Archie Pogley, what kind of talk is that? Low hay, body every. Is that clown talk? <laughs> and why are you coming in the door backwards, Archie Pogley? <laughs> I'm coming in the door backwards because I'm saying hello backwards. Low oh. <laughs> But why don't you say hello frontwards and come in the door frontwards? Wouldn't it be simpler? Oh, Merry Holiday. Simpler, yes, but very ordinary. Much too ordinary for an extraordinary fellow like me. <laughs> well, 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 is everybody <laughs> ready to go? <laughs> 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 Archie is so funny. <laughs> oh, he said I was funny. Funny? <laughs> me? I was never more serious in my life. The wishing star is ready to go. She's all tuned up. The gas tank is filled with fresh stardust. So, why not jump in? Jump, jump. Oh, no. No, not yet, Jump, Jump and Archie Pogley. Not yet. There's still a lot to be done. And has anyone seen the poet? Hmm? I'm sure the poet wants to go, too. The poet loves riding in the wishing star. Oh, the poet? Oh, he's already aboard Merry Holiday. And he's sitting in the cabin, mooning over another poem, oh. too. Oh, I do wish that he would quit writing his poems on the wall, though. Writing on the wall? That's not a good idea, is it? <laughs> I should say not, no. It doesn't leave me any room to write down my jokes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <what's he laughs> <fucking? laughs> oh, I'm a jolly old clown. I never do frown. I make little children laugh with glee. I never do whine because I haven't got time. A jolly old clown, as you can see. Oh, 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 I can tell ah, you we ah, had a busy day. Mary Holiday whisked around so fast her apron chains stood right out straight behind her. She packed a basket of things to eat on the way. Fried chicken, potato salad, and two apple pies. One for Archie Pogley, the poet, and I, and a penny pie. An apple pie baked on a penny for a jump jump. At last we were ready. Mary Holiday stood at the door, her finger on her forehead, thinking. Mm, now I think that's all. Let's see. Goldilocks is coming over to take care of the holidays and birthdays for us while we're away. We have our lunch basket, and our coats, and we have gifts for Santa and Mrs. Claus, and some moths for the reindeer, a new bell for Blitzen. I think that's everything. So, come on, Tim, let's close the door. Where's Jump Jump, Mary Holiday? Jump Jump? He's not with you, Tim? Oh, well, maybe he's with Archie Pogley and the Wishing Star. Oh, Archie Pogley! Is Jump Jump with you? No, Mary Holiday. I've seen no elves out here. Oh, my. You know, sometimes I wish Jump Jump would grow up just a little. Well, let's go back in the house, Tim, and see where he's hiding. I don't think he'd hide at a time like this. Well, wherever he is, we'll find him in a second. He jumps around so much he gives himself away. Oh, Jump Jump, where are you? Jump Jump, we're ready to go. Oh. Oh, I heard him, Mary Holiday. Yes. I heard him, and he's talking fast again. Um, uh, look under the carpet, Tim. No, he's not here, Mary Holiday. Oh, and he's not in the teapot or the sugar bowl. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Jump, 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 jump. Where are you? It sounds like he's up on the ceiling, Mary Holiday. Oh, looky, looky! Where, where? Oh, look at the window blind. It's rolled up so high and there's a bump in the middle that wiggles. Oh, yes. Let me out. Let me out. Just a minute, Jump Jump. We'll let you out. 
I'll unroll the sheet. I'll pull it down. All right. And you hold your apron to catch him when he falls out, Mary Holiday. Yes, yes, all right. Oop, oh, <laughs> there you are. You caught him, Mary Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no, now, Jump Jump, tell us slowly what happened, Jump Jump. How did you get rolled up in the window blind? Well, yes. I was swinging on the ring of the shade. You were swinging on the ring of the shade, the pull? And, uh, and, uh, you were teasing the cat with the shade pull, maybe? Swinging in front of her nose? Yeah. And she batted at you with her paws you swung by, maybe? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll show you, Mary Holiday. He's like this. Oh, he's done oh, it again. Mary Holiday, he's done it again. <laughs> jump, jump, is rolled up in the blind again. <laughs> so I see. All right, Tim. My apron is spread wide. Pull down the blind again. <laughs> there. Oh, jump, jump, we're waiting for you. The wishing star is parked in front of our door. Hurry, jump, jump, jump into Tim's pocket. And do be careful from now on. We were in the wishing star, and with a mighty swish, we took off on our way to the North Pole at last. Uh, we're flying over the zoo now, Tim. Oh, yes. Oh, why, there's Sleepy Slim the lion on top of his cage. Sleepy Slim? Sleepy Slim, so it is, and wide awake. And waving to us with his tail. Yes, he wants to go with us. Oh, Archie Pogley, Archie Pogley, there's Sleepy Slim on top of his cage. He wants to go with us, too. And sure enough, as we swoop low over the zoo, Sleepy Slim jumped up and grabbed the tail of the wishing star. He made it. He made it, Tim. He got a hold. Oh, there he is. Oh, Archie oh, Pogley, can you help him in? Oh, yes, there. Now grab my yeah. hand, Sleepy Slim. He got grab it. it. Oh, oh, dear, Dad. I hope that Sleepy Slim doesn't go to sleep hanging right in midair. Oh, can, can you pull him over the side into the wishing star, Archie Pogley? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, good. As a famous man once said, yes. Oh, oh there, there you, you are. are, my zoological <laughs> friend. There you are. <laughs> who, who ever heard of a lion being pulled into a wishing star plane hand over hand? But here you are, Sleepy Slim. Yes, oh, oh, yeah, here I am, here I am, but uh, where am I? Why, Sleepy Slim, you're in the wishing star. My, you're quite an acrobat. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm quite an acrobat, all right, but... Uh, I'd rather be a hell myself. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were all on our way to the North Pole in the Wishing Star. Mary Holiday and Archie Pogby the Clown, Sleepy Slim the Lion, Jump Jump of Holiday House, and I. Be sure you meet me here again tomorrow and find out what happened when we reached the North Pole and couldn't find Santa Claus's house. <laughs>